Oh, good morning. Welcome back to the old Polish farm here in Colonia. Let's see if we can get through here without having to climb over the furniture. Nope. I don't know what it is. Why I gotta do that? Oh, hot. So, uh, at the end of the last episode, we accepted a couple of contracts to do some harvesting of wheat up by the church, and we did that off camera. So, sorry. Uh, we're going to be doing more harvesting. Hope. Okay. It's exasperating. We're going to be doing some more harvesting, hopefully, today on our own field. I have not looked at used equipment yet or contracts but I'm hoping finally that our wheat field will be ready and also since today is the one year anniversary of our arriving here in Poland on in August of last year thought maybe we'd take stock of where we are on the farm. So we have upgraded the combine from what Cousin Bartholomew's had. We have also purchased this Zetor tractor and this Lily mower. Mower. <laughs> this Lily Baylor. Oh. And this fertilizer spreader. We bought that pressure washer. We also recovered this T25 out of the uh, ash heap <laughs> over at the over at the landfill, and we restored it, flipped it, and now. I got new exhaust on it now. Ready to put, get it back together. And I think I'm going to take it up to the shop and have them put an aftermarket uh, cabin on it. And that, of course, is uh, Cousin Bartholomew's Z Tour, which I think we will use today to take milk up to the dairy. We have got 12 cows that we have just fed silage. Let's see uh, how the cows are doing. It could probably use with some straw. Oh, I didn't look closely at the milk. Yeah, there's enough enough to take some. Let's grab some straw for them. So, yeah. Some days just zoom up that ladder. Feeling good today. Hopefully we'll have some more straw here shortly after we harvest our fields. Something I do need to remember is to turn on the straw swath on the combine. We also have this truck we bought, which is a huge upgrade for hauling 
to the sell points and our fields both the winter wheat and the spring wheat are both ready to harvest now excellent so we'll get right on that we've expanded from bartholomew's field here to also owning this field of wheat here and this cornfield over here we also have a greenhouse Corn's looking good. I wonder when the best time to... I'll have to look at the calendar. When the best time to silage out would be or chop it for chaff. So yeah, one year later, that's where we are. Uh, we've expanded, probably tripled the... Uh, land that we have in cultivation we've added a truck a couple of tractors and some other equipment so let's take some milk up to the dairy actually we should take it and sell it wherever the price is best we'll have to check on that Sometime in the last year, Giants has done an update to this tractor, and it doesn't take nearly as long to start up as it used to. I kind of like the long startup. I should have never applied that update. <laughs> that other door open where the Z -tour, the newer Z tour is and I probably shouldn't have done that okay where are we gonna go with it we're gonna just take it right over here to Targ today little better price not by much so little but if we have enough that we can do this every every single day in the morning probably be good take nice fresh milk to the market I deliver it in front of the guy with the uh, uh, tools and stuff. Not quite sure. Oh, money-wise, how much do we arrive with? Was it thirty thousand or about twenty thousand? I think it was twenty. So we're actually about ten thousand euros to the good uh, from how we arrived as well. I believe. Can't remember exactly. I think I got to do some work on the combine before we start using it today. 
need to clean up in here too. Get those boxes moved. Okay, I gotta figure out how to put that ladder up too. So let's pull open the help menu. I think. Not it. There we go. Put, pull that ladder up. And then straw swath. Start with the winter wheat.
Well, that's the winter wheat done. Man, that Bison Gigant works great on our field. Compared to the old Bison Super that we had, it just climbed a little slow. This one just doesn't slow down at all. That's the spring wheat field done. I guess maybe I should have offloaded down there the first time. Oh well. It's okay. So we got 43.90. Off of the winter wheat field. OK. 
because I didn't look, we'll have to do the math here. something like that. Put it straight into the silo here. Hopefully this will work out. a lot better than trying to back that trailer. There went the brick. It's going to work though. I hope it doesn't tip too high though. Oh wow, that's awesome. That is Pretty awesome. Okay, well, I think I'll take a quick break. We'll take a look at what else is going on far as contracts go um, we need to bail this straw maybe figure out if we can mulch the field and then yeah go from there start getting ready for the next uh Next cycle, we should probably put something like canola in or soybeans or something. I hate to, you know, lose a growing season, though. Although with the spring wheat coming out as quickly as the winter wheat, eh. We got time to figure it out. All right, I'm going to pop up into the house for a second. Okay, it's 10 o'clock. I took a little break. I was looking into... Whoa. <laughs> uh, possibility of maybe doing some contracts. Uh, for harvesting, there are some 
fields over on the other side of the railroad tracks, one with um, sorghum in it, and I think the other one was wheat. Uh, they're going to two different places, though, so that could be a little tricky. What I want to do first is I want to go ahead and get my uh, straw baled off of my fields. So we're going to grab our new-to-us Lily baler. It's not a mower. It's a baler. And we're going to get out on the field, at least make the bales. We probably won't collect them yet. Because uh, our time might be better spent trying to earn some money. Do need to think about repurposing the fields and how I plan on doing that. Uh, or what I plan on doing next. So I probably shouldn't do wheat or barley again. Probably shouldn't do another cereal crop. So I was thinking about maybe doing canola, but to do canola, I will have to uh, get it planted here in August. So I do need to get, get to busy. So wow, our first bale is 87% hay. Doing this is gonna make it straw right away. Oh, we've used this baler before, haven't we? Didn't realize that we had. I don't think it unfolds. We just turn it on. No, nope, I do need to unfold it. Did I not? Maybe it was unfolded already? I don't know. I think magically this will become straw. I'm glad I was able to get that off of the... Uh, off the road. Considers it my property, which is awesome. I was worried I might have a problem with that. Good God, the big old pile there, huh? Now, can I get this down by this tree, though? Yep, okay, good. I was worried I wouldn't get that either. Back up and get that little bit there. There, got it. Okay, now up the hill. This pulls a lot easier than that, whoa, spoke too soon. Pulls a lot easier than that round baler does that I had leased. Someone in the comments recommended trying a draw bar on it. So next time we do try <clears throat> and use that baler, we may do that. See if a uh, draw bar will help us with it. a little bit out there in the road. I don't think I'll be able to get that. <clears throat> so that'll be there forever and bother me. So let me uh, get this bailed. And then we can get to work on something else, trying to earn some money maybe.
right, so that's our wheat fields bailed for straw. How many did we get? According to the statistics page, we just got 47 straw bales. That's a lot. That's going to be fun to get up into the hayloft. <laughs> oh, boy. Since I'm probably going to need the cedar before I need the baler again, i got to put it over here. It's probably a better place to keep it. almost too big for the door. It's just like right at the width. There we go. Actually, if we put it all the way back to the wall, get this room in here. Put it right there. I think we'll take a quick break for lunch. Um, and then go see if maybe we can pick up a couple of those harvesting contracts. Then we're gonna have to come out here and pick this stuff up. And we need to figure out, can we mulch? Seven. That's nearly 50 bale. That's a lot. Gonna make it challenging to do baling contracts when we have a lot of our bale uh, count taken up with uh, bales. Oh, it must be noon. I think I hear the church bells. So why don't we go ahead and grab some lunch? It's been a little bit longer at lunch than I had planned on. I wanted to be done in about a half an hour, but it took like a 40 minute lunch. So I accepted two harvesting contracts for wheat over past the animal dealer on the other side of the uh, brick. 
on the other side of the railroad tracks. And somebody made the suggestion, which one's that? Yeah, that's it. I've got a pin hitch on the back of the truck here. So like when I had that contract the other day, I had to make multiple trips to the uh, cell point at WS Colonia. Of course, I didn't know how far the capacity would go on the truck but now I know that I can fill it so uh, if I take this trailer with me I'll be able to take even more uh, in one trip so we're going to take that with us wow am I going to be able to get out with it though that'll be something I probably should have started turning sooner. Come on before the car comes. There we go. the railroad tracks it's gonna be fields 91 92 91 is the long narrow one and uh, 92 is up actually past the top they're both wheat and it's all going to WS Colonia I had considered taking a contract on, I think it's field 85 here, and it's sorghum. But when I was looking into accepting the contracts, there was another one, another wheat one. So I took both the wheat ones. But with the two trailers, I could also have done a wheat one and the sorghum one. Or the back of the truck plus the trailer. So yeah, here's, here's 91, I think, and then 92 is, I thought it was right here, must be it way over there, okay, well, I gotta go get the <laughs> combine now.
I think I want to do the larger field up top first. I want to keep the crop separate between the back of the uh, truck, the green body on the truck and the trailer. Uh, so I'm going to go around and start on the field up above.
was filled 92 done. I would hope to be able to segregate the grain between the grain body on the truck and the trailer between the two fields, but looks like I'm not going to be able to achieve that goal. So I'm going to take uh, field 92 in and come back and do field 91. Might be able to get all of it in uh, just the grain body. We'll see.
All right, so that's the contract on field 92 finished. And 15% of uh, the grain off of uh, that went towards the contract on field 91. So I'm going to head back out to field and do, uh, do field 91. I think I'll probably end up doing that one off camera. I want to thank you for hanging out with me here at the old Polish farm. And I hope you come back. See you again. As we go into August 2. See you next time. Thank you.